Prince Harry Salon. I am your host, Angeline, and your stylist. And we have your other stylist, Claire. Hey, Facebook. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate everybody tuning in with us on Talk That Hair. So we have a great show store in store for you today. So we are going to be showing you how to install the perfect braidless sewing. And yes, you heard me. It's called the perfect braidless sewing. We all want that perfect braidless sewing hair extensions. Why? It gives you really great flat feeling hair, versatile, and you can do your half up, half down. We get a lot of phone calls on versatile hair extensions. So I know whoever's tuning in with us right here at Antiree Salon, 381 Main Street. We're on live. Your girl Angelina and Claire is gonna be hey, showing you girl. how to do a braidless sewing hair extensions. Okay, so we have our model here. We actually complete half of our braidless sewing and I'm going to show you at home how to finish the crown area of a braidless sewing. So being the fact our show is only about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, I already completed half of it. So uh, we, before we got to this part of her hair, I wanted to actually let you know her hair had some colors before, like blonde, caramel, highlights. We took her uh, hair down a few levels, and I wanted you to see, you can, you know, put your head down. The color that we took it to, we actually made it more of a warm tone color. Uh, I wanted to create the base more darker, and what I used to got uh, what we used to get to this color, we use a uh, sew color. And the base color that's on her right now is a level four sew color. This is what we use. This is the one we use. Um, and as far as for her low lights, we gave her some caramelized low lights. We use the so color 6M, which is the same as the one I just showed you, except it's the number six. I believe it's that one, there we go. So number six. And we also did some medium brown mocha, which is the 5M as well. So this is how we got to the low lights and of course her base was 4M. All right, so we're showing you how to do the braidless sewing hair extensions. Before we get into showing you how to apply these extensions, I actually want to show you what the hair looked like before. So for those who are just tuning in, once again we are at the Antiree Salon studio on Main Street 381. We are broadcasting live from 381 Main Street in Poughkeepsie, New York. I am uh, the owner of the salon, Angeline, and uh, as you're tuning in, we are doing the braidless sewing hair extensions. The sponsor for our show today is Get Jealous Hair, who sponsored us. They, we are installing Get Jealous Hair into her hair and showing you how we're going to extend her hair in the different lengths. Uh, that we're going to be uh, making her over with today. So I want to show you what the hair looked like before. We actually did some low lights on it. So what the color of the Get Jealous hair looked like before, this was originally the color of the Get Jealous hair. So this is our Malaysian Body Wave Get Jealous hair, and you can go to getjealoushair.com to purchase this hair 
And this is the same hair we will be putting into her hair with the braidless sewing. But of course, we custom color it to match it to blend with how she, you know, to, to her hair color that we're transforming from the blonde to more of the mochas that's in our hair today. So that was the color of the extensions before. So this is the color it is now. Isn't that beautiful? Check that out, viewers. And by the way, Talk Dad here, we want you guys to inbox us, as you usually do. We see some inbox, uh, you know, coming in. We see a few people inboxing us. So as I am going to be showing you how to do that braidless sewing, I know you have a lot of questions. We have the answer. This is why we are here to uh, show you how you can put this braidless sewing at home. Any questions you may have, please feel free, feel free to inbox us and we'll answer you live right here as we are broadcasting live on Main Street Poughkeepsie. So I'll be showing you, first of all, it's a track that you will be uh, placing to measure to see the area you want it to be. So I parted out this area, crown area of her crown and I wanted to place the track right there and I make sure that it's exactly where you want it to give you good coverage. You don't want to really pass the hairline because passing the hairline you will see that it's not natural. You want to keep it where it's enough hair on the hairline so you can be able to pull it back. If the wind blows it looks like it's yours. You want to keep that natural as possible also on the other end so that's about how far we're going to go out so that on the hairline so it's not too close so i'll be cutting this amount all right and everybody's really excited to see what this braidless sewing is all about yes absolutely braidless sewing is the way to go it's one of the flattest hair extensions and by the way braidless sewing is good for all types of hair all types of hair we have natasha Yes. She's from Mount Vernon, actually. Wow. And she wants an explanation. She said, I don't understand. I've always got extensions done with braids. Okay. What is this braidless sewing technique? Okay, so the braidless sewing technique, all you would need at home is a tiny hook. It's cl close enough to a crochet hook, but this is a lot tinier. So you need this at home. This is what you need at home. Also, you need a pliers. You're also going to need micro beads. You can get these at Sally's View Supply. I'll show you uh, what these look like out of the bag. These are called micro beads. And along with all three of these items, you will need your spool of thread and your needle. So you'll need these items. Spool of thread, your needle, your pliers, your micro bead, and your mini hook. So this is what we'll be using to pull the hair through this hook. So check it out. Facebook. We're here at anti Salon, 381 Main Street. For those who are just tuning in, I'm Angeline Smalls. I'm your host and the owner of the salon, and I'm here with Claire, our stylist. We're showing you how to do <laughs> the braidless sewing. So first, just so I can give you a side profile, you'll grab a tiny piece of hair. This amount is perfect to grab. Then you sort of want to twist that. You want to use your hook. And of course I have on here that micro bead I was telling you about. You can see that closely. You want to keep it on that hook. After twisting the hair, you want to grab the hair with the hook. Have the bead slide down and you pull the hair right through that bead. Look at that. I know you guys can see that at home. This is the replacement of a braid, guys. You do not want to put 
put too much hair inside of it, but you want to have just enough because inside of this micro bead is where the thread is going to be attaching the weft. So the weft will be attached with the meat, with the thread onto this bead. So you can see that bead. Make sure it's close to the root. Yes, and Alex from Hopewell. She asks, is the braidless weave painful? Alex from Hopewell's accent is the braidless weave painful? Absolutely not. It's all about the application. You want to make sure when it's close to the root area, Alex, you want to make sure that you are not going to be pinching the scalp area. Thank you for the hair shout out. <laughs> Get jealous hair. It's the best. All day. <laughs> so then you want to actually take the needle and thread and sew inside of that loop. want to know model is this painful no does it hurt oh wow, not at all <laughs> i'm just excited to see what it looks like nice <laughs> it's best she answer than i do <laughs> that's your answer <laughs> wow. so i am actually going through the tiny hoops the micro beads with my needle and that's how I'm attaching this weft onto. Sometimes it gets stuck. So if you know that you're actually getting stuck and you can't go through that micro bead, again, then you wanna push the weft right up. It's tight enough so you can, you know, see how it's hanging just like that. And after, you can't go through that micro bead anymore. This is when you grab your pliers and then you're gonna make sure you close the hole of the micro bead. Once you close that hole very tight, then you can make your knot to keep that from unraveling. There you go. We just installed our first micro bead braidless sewing extension. So that's the first part. That's how you attach that, guys. You see that? And you want to also make sure you keep it again right behind the hairline. So when you pick up the hairline, it covers that beautiful. Check that out. Look how gorgeous that looks already. And how flat that is. We're installing, if for those who are just tuning in, we're installing extensions of braidless sewing with no braids, guys. And you know how we hate those braids. They can be so tight. It's good for anyone with any texture here. Yes, we have one more question. Yes, questions, questions are coming in. Talk that here with us. Why braidless instead of a regular extension? Well, it's good for those who just want to make the hair fuller. You want to do a fill-in and you make, You also want to make sure, um, the reason for that as well, less bulk here. You know, you don't feel as much bulk. Another reason is good for throwing in some highlights if you don't want to color your own hair. For those who may want to wear a majority of their own hair and just make the hair look a little bit fuller or longer, this is the way to go. I think it's more flexible too. Like if you want to do different kind of parts, you know, half up, half down, you don't have yes. to worry about the bulk of your braids. Yes. It is. a lot more. It's really good for, for brides too. Like wedding hair, they just don't want, you know, add some extensions. You want a whole head full of curls, you want to be able to put it up and put it up however you want. It's a wonderful style for brides. Absolutely. I agree with that. Very versatile. And it's a lot easier to, you know, do more up, down, sideways, whatever you want to do with your hair. It makes it more believable to everyone okay. that you're not wearing extensions. Sharice from Poughkeepsie, she asked, how long does this method last? 
Hello, Sharice. How long does this method last? You can have this method as long as the sewing, traditional uh, way of sewing in here. The traditional way, which is the braid, lasts eight weeks. The same thing with this method, eight weeks. The last eight weeks for the braidless sewing. How did you remove it? Does she have to come back in the salon to get it removed? Uh, or is it something she can do at home? You can do it at home, but I recommend you come in. You remove it uh, with the pliers. So the opposite way of, uh, the way you clamp, when I clamp the micro beads, once you make them flat after clamping them, you want to sort of put the pliers in the opposite direction of how you clamp it and squeeze it to reopen that hole that you closed. So, and that's how you remove them at home. But I think it's best to come in. So Sharice, you do want to come in. Sharice and her hair is very thin. She's wondering if this is a good method for her. Because she's had um, sewing for the past, she's been on for the past few years, and she wants to know, will this work better in her hair? It actually will, because you're not sewing these wefts on top of a braid. A braid, of course, is a lot thicker. So with the braidless sewing, it's laying flat at the scalp. So I, I do recommend the braidless sewing for you, Sharice, if your hair is thin. And for anyone who may have thin hair like Sharice, I do recommend the braidless sewing once again because it's not too many layers you're sewing on top of. So it's just really flat at the base and it feels a lot flatter as well. So as I'm sewing this through the hoop, the tiny bead we have here, you notice I cannot go anymore because I'm filling the hole up with a lot of thread. So once you see that the hole is becoming too tight to push the needle through it, it's time to grab your pliers. All right, so we have the second micro bead link added in to her hair. Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate it, and for those who are just tuning in, we appreciate you all. I'm Angeline, broadcasting live here at 381 Main Street in Poughkeepsie, showing you how to do a braidless sewing, and that's what we're doing here, live at 381 Main Street at Antiri Salon. So I'm on my third bead, and I know no one didn't really ask this question, but uh, this is a good question to ask, and I'm just gonna give you guys some insight on this. How do you determine how many beads to use for a track? A good question, huh? I knew someone was gonna ask that, but I beat you to the punch. However, it's determined by the area of her head that you are going to partition to put the track. So it depends on how lengthy your weft is, you, you want to make sure you stay about an inch away from each beam. You don't want to have it where it's too, I'm going to show you this, I'm going to turn her around. You see how wide that is? You want to make sure it's not too far because if the last bead is about right here. If I decide to put the next bead to this very end, you know what's gonna happen. Sorry. You know what's gonna happen? It's gonna become where it's too much of a space all the way around. So you wanna keep the space very tight. So as it's close together, it's less loops and it's much tighter. You can barely push your fingers through. But if it's a wider space, this is too much space right here. So you want to make sure they are close together about an inch apart. That's what you want to make sure. So we're on our third bead. We are doing a braidless sewing. We appreciate the viewers. 
we would like for you guys to tag to tag us and when this video is over please share us share this video we would like for you guys to tell all your friends about us so we can continue to do our show because we love what we do and we want to educate you guys at home that you can do this too or come in at 381 Main Street to get this service done. So you know we have a back to school special. Yes. Just want to throw that out there. Everyone is calling asking, what's the sale? What's the sale? And the sale is 20% off your hair service. Any hair service you may like to go back to school, just know that we got you. So we can do any type of install, including the braidless sewing. I know you guys are checking that out, it's so natural. And we also have um, new clients who are looking for an install. Um, oh yeah, new clients who are watching us right now. Installs are $99 for all the new clients. Thank you, Claire. You're welcome. Yep, only 99. That's a lot of savings. And the hair. We do have a few questions about the hair. Everybody's all crazy about this hair. They love the color and they love the transformation of the color because it was very blonde when we first started. Okay, yep. Remember, it was platinum. It was a number six thirteen. Her hair was super light, super duper light, and we got it all the way to this. Yes, we got it to um, more of a warmer tone. It's a lot better when you put warmer tones on more of an olive skin tone like she has. She has gorgeous olive skin tone. Beautiful eyes, so the darker the color and the more warmer the tones, the more it brings out her eyes and her olive skin tone. So that's why we decided to go with the warmer tones. And the extensions, of course, get jealous hair. It lasts for a very long time. It's great for vacation. And being the fact we're models going to Vegas this weekend, Perfect for her. So, and it colors color. really well. It, it colors really well. It actually does. Definitely. It's one hair I do recommend. If you're looking to put any color in your hair, it's a good hair to purchase. It colors right away. I know a lot of hair people purchase when you're coloring the hair, it doesn't give you the exact color you're going for because you don't know what else the hair is mixed with. But the Get Jealous hair, you get to, the, to achieve the exact color that you desire. So I am going to cut and I'm gonna end it around this area right here because this is a little bit too lengthy for the sides. So we have two more beads to put in and you will see how gorgeous her hair looks when we're finished. We have her before picture, so you want to stay tuning in so you'll see what she looked like before her hair was colored and before the extensions were added in. So all you guys that are just tuning in, welcome to Talk That Hair, broadcasting live at 381 Main Street. Continue to inbox us because we love all the questions. We appreciate all you guys that's tuning in right now. Doesn't she look gorgeous? She does. She's looking amazing already. Okay, we have Michelle here. She's actually from Poughkeepsie. And she has a question she wanted to know, because you said this technique is for all hair types and textures. Yes. So Michelle gets relaxers. She wanted to know, is it okay to get a relaxer with this in her hair? You can get it right after, Michelle. Because all you're actually grabbing is only strands of your hair. It's perfect because your hair is still exposed. For those who hate the fact of their hair being covered up by a full weave, this is the best way to go. You can still come in and get your deep treatments, your conditioners, weekly or bi-weekly while you have these extensions in. And you can also color your hair and relax it while this is in your hair. That is also a great plus of, ha of having the micro bead braidless sewing because your hair is still all exposed throughout. So it's perfect to still uh, get this right after your relaxer or you can get it and get your relaxer while this is installed. 
And that works for a relaxer and a keratin treatment as well. Yes. Because we also do the chocolate keratin treatment for our ladies who are not relaxed but still want to, you know, soften up their hair, take out some of their frizz, the fold. Especially in the summertime, and we have a lot of girls going natural. So I've been doing the chocolate keratin treatments like crazy. A lot. Everybody's loving it. Great just makes it so much the smoother, like it kind of just seals the shine and the moisture into your hair. So anybody who's natural, looking for something to do that doesn't want to relax your hair, you know, you don't have to go to that extent, <laughs> and we can do a character treatment. So go give us a call, let us know. I second that. It adds permanent shine. Mm -hmm. And your hair would also love you for that. It's like hair food. How can you not want to treat your hair with some great character treatment? Long lasting too. Very long lasting. So your hair would love you for that, like I said. All right, so I'm on my last bead. And this is where I'm going to be ending it. Right here. I'm going to end the weft. This area, right here. Like I said, I want to leave enough on the side so I can pull it back. We're coming close to the end, guys. Talk that air with us at Anti Re Salon, 381 Main Street, broadcasting live from the Kipsy. You guys want to call us right now for this braidless sewing? Please give us a call at 845. 559-0033. That was 0033. 0033. That's the phone number. Give us a call. If you want to purchase this hair, we would like for you to go to getjealoushair.com. Alright, so I ran out of thread. I just gotta thread my needle once more. Getting close to the end. Model, are you excited? I am so excited. <laughs> Viewers, are you ready to see her before, cause or after, as you are witnessing, we're almost finished with putting her braidless sewing. We're on the last micro bead. Thank you guys for tuning in to Talk That Hair, where we talk all about hair every Tuesday at 2 p.m. We're also on our YouTube. We would like for you guys to subscribe to our channel. Our YouTube channel is anti Re Salon and Spa. Subscribe to our YouTube so if you miss today's show or you want to go back to see the first, second, and third episode, you can always go to our YouTube channel and check out all the shows you may have missed. And that is anti Re Salon and Spa. Please subscribe to our YouTube. All right, guys. As we're talking about hair on Talk That Hair every Tuesday at 2 p.m., we just showed you how to do a braidless sew-in without braids. And I'm going to turn you around and show you what we just did. That is what you call a braidless sewing. Very versatile. You can pick this up as high as you want. This is our hair in between. You can lift it high up or down. I know you're loving that. You guys check that out. How beautiful is that and how flat. 
I doubled this, by the way, simply because I would like to give her some volume at the crown area. So when we style it, it looks very full. Okay. So I'm just gonna wand her hair and add some nice curls and show you how gorgeous her hair is. And check out all of this hair that we just installed in her hair. You have the braidless sewing. Check out the sides, guys. Look at that. You can't even see where her tracks are. How beautiful. Check that out, guys. Come on and inbox us. I know you have more questions. Check that out. Look at that. I know you guys love the fact that you can't see the track and you can pick it up half up, half down. I know you guys are loving that. Back to school, ladies. Give us a call. That is so beautiful. This is 26 inches Get Jealous Hair. Where she has the ombre effect. And what an ombre is for those who may not know, you have the solid color at the root and another solid color from the shaft to the ends. Check that out, how gorgeous she looks. And we're gonna style her gorgeous Get Jealous Hair and show you what she looked like before because we are heading into her very after. So here we are, guys. Come on, talk that hair with us where all we do is talk about hair. Inbox us, we thank you for tuning in. We appreciate all the questions coming in, all the love being shown to us. We thank you for our viewers, because once again, without our viewers, this would not be fun. We appreciate everyone who is tuning in. So this is a one. I love a wand because you know what? It's so easy to use and it gives you some very fast curls. So as I'm curling her hair, talk to me. We have Rebecca. She's actually very interested in learning how to do the wand curl. She says she's had her wand for over three years and she never used it. She don't know what to do with it. So if you can give her a quick little lesson on that, she would love it. Okay, Rebecca. <laughs> how do you use your wand? And you had it for that long? And without burning yourself. And without burning yourself. <laughs> All right, so you want to make sure that I like it at the highest temperature. This one goes to about like four, 10. You want to grab sections of your hair. So you don't want to flat iron your hair before you wand your hair because you want to make sure that it's not too straight so you can get that perfect curl. Because if it's too straight, you're not gonna get that perfect curl. So you wanna grab sections of her hair. And as I'm blending her hair with the extensions, I'm grabbing the 26 inch and her length hair, and I'm putting it together. And how you use the wand, you grab it and you hold the wand at the thicker area, and you wanna start wrapping around the thicker area and all the way to the ends. And you wanna keep pushing back as you are wrapping it. Okay, the easier way to use it, I believe, not that I believe, but I know, is best to hold it down with it, pull my iron a little closer. All right, so I have much more length on the iron here. So, as I was showing you upward, I like to use it downward. So you wanna hold it down, and you wanna wrap it at the thicker area. And you wanna make sure that you Wrap all the hair all the way to the end. Leave it on there for a few seconds. Not too long. Not too long. Then you drop it and you get that beautiful curl. And that's how you use your wand. And of course, where her hair is, you might miss out on a few pieces that we haven't got yet. But um, once you go back to that area that you didn't get, you want that piece as well. But you always want to grab the extension with the with her hair so it blends nicely. But you don't want to leave it on too long and that's how you use that wand. You see how beautiful Get Jealous hair is curling, guys? I am not using any products, if you notice that. It curls without products and I want to make sure that I let you guys know that not every hair you can use, that you, that you can put heat to and it curls. But Get Jealous hair, 
you can curl get jealous hair without any product and it gives you the curl you desire and it holds curls as well how gorgeous is that i'm loving that you are being transformed honey i know check out which is my right and your left see the difference where it's straight on this side and we're adding some curls on that side so a few more minutes and you will be seeing her very after. And maybe we can let them know where to, um, how they can get, get Jealous Hair or the newsletter even. Actually, yes. GetJealousHair.com, we have a newsletter. If you go on to GetJealousHair.com, we have a pop-up on there where you can uh, fill out that information, your name and email address and you will receive all of our updates when it comes to new textures. When it comes to sale items, you'll be the first to know about our Get Jealous Hair sale and new items that we have out. So definitely go to getjealoushair.com if you would like this hair and many other hair. We have about five different origins from Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian, Indian, Europe, uh, European, the list goes on, and we have over 30 textures in, our, in each origin, so you want to check that out. We even have hair for the natural girls that want to make their hair look fuller, and you like to have that natural look. The non-processed hair, we have hair that kinky straight, right? matches well, your hair, the kinky the straight. Nice. Yes, we have the kinky straight, and we also have the closures to match, or you can just leave your hair out to match that straight as well. And somebody asked what kind of hair is this? I think you said it earlier, but she might have missed that. All right, so hair and the length. What kind of hair? Yes. This is the Malaysian Body Wave, and it's 26 inches, and we installed two packs in our hair. So you saw us actually put the one row braidless sewing in her hair, and she's wearing about two packs of the Get Jealous Malaysian body wave. Color and install. Color and install. Yes. We do custom color here as well. 381 Main Street. For those who are just tuning in, welcome to Talk That Hair, where all we do is talk about hair at 381 Main Street broadcasting live in Poughkeepsie. I'm Angeline. Claire. And we have Claire. <laughs> we appreciate all of the love you guys are showing us every Tuesday yes. at 2 p.m. We love what we do, and because of you, we continue to do what we do. So as we are finishing up one in her hair, we're almost half one side. We'll get to the other side in a minute. Her model's looking amazing. <laughs> I'm loving what she has. It's so easy to also maintain the wand curls. It's looking amazing. We have Nicole asking, how can, well, how long will these curls last? The wand curls. The wand curls. And how should she, how, like, if she got something like this done, how do you sleep on it at night? How do you maintain it at night? Definitely a hair bonnet. You want to use, you want to use your hair bonnet. maintain them correctly and don't get them wet and keep a scarf on in the shower so they will not be as tight three weeks later but you'll have some curls still in your hair so I really like the one curls but I think um, even after a few days they start to look better yes yeah yes yep I like them better after a few days myself 
So if you want to have that three after get your hair wand, have that look the third day. When you're wanting your hair, you want to make sure you don't do them as tight, and that's how you can get that look. How gorgeous is that looking, viewers? I am loving what you're seeing right now, and the curls are looking amazing. So great once you curl it. it yeah. Look how beautiful that looks. Amazing. It's like a perfect match. It looks so nice. Yes, beautiful. For those who are just tuning in, I am Angeline, the owner of anti Re Salon. We are on our Talk That Hair show every Tuesday. Tune in at 2 p.m. Broadcasting live on Main Street at Poughkeepsie, New York. Guys, we appreciate all the love you guys are showing us. All the questions are coming in. She's looking amazing. We're almost to the very end. In about five more minutes, you guys will be looking at how beautiful she is transforming in front of your eyes. We have her before picture photo actually that we will be showing you once she's all finished so you can see how she looked before because her after is coming out so beautiful. Look at her. Give us a call to get the braidless sewing. 559-0033. soft wand curls to blend. Okay, viewers, how you guys doing at home? Or wherever you are, are you at work? Are you at home? Are you in the car? Actually, you shouldn't be in the car watching us. <laughs> but wherever you are, we appreciate the love. Continue to tune in with us every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Live. Talk that hair where all we do is talk about hair. And all the questions you may have, we will answer. You notice I'm just taking a chunkier part of her hair. But we're not looking to make the part of uh, this, the, the, her hair to be too tight. And the length it is, you don't want to make it too tight. So you want it to blend with the 26 inches that she has. And just notice, whenever you're doing a wand curl after you have extensions in, 
You can choose to put angles in, in the extensions if you want and to do some layer cuts in her, uh, your hair. But in her hair today, we want to just keep it the one length. But if you choose to do a layer cut, that'll also be nice. We want to keep her hair one length today. So we, sh we did not do any type of hair cutting today. What I might do though in the very end of one in her hair, I might blend from the shot down just so where her hair ends, it'll look a little bit more natural. So I might I might do a little cut, cutting on her hair. Not too much, just a little. But not for the length, just to blend. And before I comb out these wand curls with my fingers, not a comb, I'll do that blending where her hair ends. I'll make sure I do that. All right, guys, so we're getting to the very end. I just want to go ahead and snip a couple strands of the extension. And how you want to do that, I can show you guys. Just want to grab the longer part of the extension. And you just want to take out some small strands of her hair. Not her hair, the extensions. <laughs> all right, I see all the love going across the screen. You guys are, if you're loving this, call us for this hairstyle. I am just blending, so I am cutting in some shorter pieces just so when her hair is all combed out, it will look more blended. So all I'm doing is blending. Okay guys, and to finish styling her hair, I have a little bit of argan oil. Massage that through your hands. Check out her after, guys, because we're going to be showing you her before in a second as I'm styling her hair. How gorgeous is she looking? Check out yourself, honey. Thanks, Marie, for the love. Thank you, Marie. Checking us out. <laughs> Shouting us out in the inbox. Check that out, guys. Check out the braidless sewing. How natural her hair looks. Check that out. Yes, the ombre, the darker roots to the lighter, warmer tones in the extensions. Yes. How beautiful. How are you loving that? <laughs> yes. I am loving it and I love the length, love the curls. Check her out. I'm going to turn her around so you guys can see the back and how blended that looks. Check that out. Check that out, guys. Check that out. Perfect. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? How beautiful. I'm going to turn her back around so you guys can continue to check her out. Her beautiful Get Jealous Hair braidless sewing done here at Anti-Ree Salon. Check out how beautiful she looks. Are you guys ready for her after? Because I'm ready. I'm not sure if you are. I'll Check her ready. out. You, you, I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're this ready. This is what she looks like now. <laughs> but maybe you don't want to see what she looks like before. But I, you know what? You probably do. Cause look how gorgeous she, she looks. Look how gorgeous she looks. Let's show you her before. Check out her before, guys. That's her before. Check her out. Check out her after. How gorgeous she looks. Yes. Yes, check her out. Check that out, guys. Show them how you look like a supermodel. Show your hair off. How beautiful is that? Check her out. Amazing. This is her we before. Have the back as well. And I have the back, and I'm gonna turn her around so I can show you what the back looked like before. This is the back, the after, and this is the before. 
This is the before. You look amazing. Thank you. This is our before on the back. Turn her around. Check her out. And that was her before. And this is her after. Show yourself, honey. Let them know how flawless you are. You come to Antari Salon and get that before to your after. Check that out. Gorgeous. Continue to tune in with us every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Check her out live at Antiree Salon Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York. This is your girl Angelina and Claire. We will see you next week. Thank you for see the you love. Time. Share the video, please, because we would like to see you again next week and your friends. Check her out. She's loving it. Look at her. Oh my gosh. So we'll see you guys next week. Talk that hair. Bye, Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.